What's happening, family? Hey, so uh, this is a special video. I am revealing a new old school that I just got. I didn't just get it. I've had it for a while. I got to have this car. Four months, I think. But I ain't showed it because there's some things that need to happen, and I'm going to get into that. Uh, this is a 1966 Lincoln Continental. Um... Yeah, I love this car. I've only driven it a total of, I think, three times. Um, and I'll tell you why in a minute. I'll just show you some features on it anyway. Big body car, literally the same exact length as my Lincoln Navigator Long Edition. Um, I think it's just an inch shorter than my Lincoln Navigator. The biggest thing is the suicide doors. That's the interior. Um, I got a few things I'm gonna do to it. As you see, this is all original interior. Anyway, it's got so much like back in the 60s, this was a luxury car. Still is, it's got the cruise control. It's got the automatic dimming. You know how you got the headlights, the, uh, what you call it? The automatic dimming on you, like you have your high beams on, and they automatically dim when a car's coming. That's what that is. It's got cruise control, uh, AC and all that, even the antenna. I don't know if it'll work because the key ain't in, oh, yeah, key ain't in, in the ignition. I'll get the key here in a minute. Of course, it's got the uh, classic clock over there. A lot of old school have. All the windows are automatic. Something's been bypassed, so it lets me know that somebody was doing something. Something's definitely been bypassed because ain't no key in the ignition. It's got freaking automatic seats. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six way seats. Um, yeah, y'all. Love this goddamn car. I've been wanting one of these since I was probably about 16 years old. Finally got one. Of course, I mean, I can get the doors open over on that side, but not all the way. It's not absolutely perfect. There are some things like the paint needs to be refinished. Um, you can see there's kind of a haze. I got plans for that over here on this side from years of mechanics dripping crap on it. Um, see that stuff's got texture. I don't know if I can get that out or not, but I'm gonna try to. Little chips here and there, little dings that I'll have to do, little scratches. Not a lot though. It's a solid car though, like, there's no neat, look how thick these doors are. Like, that's just a lot of goddamn car. Um, as you see, I'm not slamming these doors, these, everything is in really good shape. This car is in pretty good shape. The only, uh, downfall is, the reason I've only driven it four times, engine needs to be rebuilt. It's a 462, 462 MEL that is Mercury something else Lincoln engine. 462 is 462 cubic inch V8. A lot of power, a lot of torque. Engine for the most part looks okay. I can see the brake lines, some brake lines were done, which is great. But uh, long story short, got the car, drove it home. Um, drove Amar saw it he fell in love with it uh, drove it uh, to school drove him to school in it the next day drove it home from uh, dropping him off and then I drove it like another time or two I noticed it was shaking and smoking a little bit so in the meantime I was troubleshooting long story short I was pulling spark plugs to see if I could find oil on one of them because I was like that means you know there's a, a crack seal and did find oil so I went to start it again ran for a couple of seconds and it started knocking really loud Three, day, three days in that happened uh, so that broke my heart anyway long story short it took me I keep saying long story short and I keep talking probably took me about two and a half weeks to find somebody that would work on this car because most people don't know how to work on these cars but the guys I found said opposite of everybody else they're not rare they're not hard to work on you just got to know what you're doing um, so I've actually found three guys since then uh, and they all know each other Anyway, so that's going to be happening soon, but 
anyway that's the engine ain't really much to see because ain't nothing running but this uh i had an expert come look at it and he did was able to just look at it and point out some things that was done wrong over the years but when it's getting rebuilt all that's going to be corrected but anyway that's the 1966 lincoln continental uh more to come put some uh, white walls on it not gonna put no big ass wheels on it at least not yet not gonna put air ride on it because it rides like a dream right now uh anyway this video's getting long just there it is First so y'all probably know i got some dents and dings in this car that i'm trying to get out in the continental so right here um you'll see i got some thin tissue paper and you're gonna get mad because i used four squares of mama like stuff but anyway i had to trace out and mark some holes because i'll show you what i'm doing over here uh, i don't know if i can yeah there you go see that that's a crease right there where they done something hit it or they done drove against something soft enough not to scratch it but hard enough to where it dented so or maybe it was opened up on something really hard i don't know but anyway so that's the door panel this is the passenger side of course that's what it usually looks like but that's what it looks like right now um that's the panel right there the main part of the panel all the little stuff i got the screws bolts and handle and stuff anyway um i got to the point to where and got all that off i don't know i'm assuming this is here to keep stuff from rubbing i don't know what this is for but you can tell that's factory that was put on there back in 1965 when they were making it you know and this is because this is a 66 um i want to make sure i replace this so that's what i got over there i went and got some construction uh paper that they put on like floors and walls to protect because that's about how thick this feels and I had to trace it out. I wanted to make sure I put the holes all in the same spot and make it the same shape. And I couldn't see through that paper, of course. So I just got some tissue paper, taped it on there, traced it, marked it. So now I'm about to cut it because I want to just make sure I replace this. Because to get to that, see how thick these doors are. These doors are thick. There is not a car made today where these doors are this thick. But anyway, in order to get to the other side to knock that out, I got to go through here and I don't know what's back there. I don't know the purpose of this, but I plan on replacing it. So that's what that over there is for. It's beautiful outside. I'm in here doing this. Anyway, so that's what I got. That's the rough trace out. I, all that stuff's going to be straight, but so I didn't have to push the screws through these, this hard construction paper. Um, I had to buy a whole goddamn thousand foot roll just to use this two foot set, but it was only like twelve dollars so it is what it is but anyway so I, i'm gonna tape it i'm gonna cut right here bigger i'm gonna tape it to it and then i'm just gonna cut it out and then just puncture those pots so i know i can replace that paper that's on there um again once i tear it off i maybe i'll be able to see uh what it is what it's on there for but i plan on putting everything back the way i found it and uh the only way to get it off is to tear it off and i got some adhesive or whatever uh, to spray it so I can put it on there. But yeah, it's like thick. Whatever this is, just heavy duty construction paper. It's about the same thickness, but as a Lincoln update, y'all. The paper is not just paper, but anyway, it all came off in one piece. So I'm gonna show you that. So as you can see, looks like it got a little bit of rust where it had a leak at some point. Um, it's not affecting the thing of the door. So anyway, after I take this off, I have access to it. Now, let me show you the back of the paper is not just paper it's got some type of it's like almost rubbery i don't know but what i'm gonna do is clean that up and put that back on there because i don't it's my it looks like it's got some waterproofing quality to it um and apparently that's probably why that's there so it came off in one piece i started peeling it it's got some type of adhesive i think i might have this um actually i'm about to put on gloves because you know back in the 60s Ain't no telling what they was using that might be harmful to us today. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna you know, put some gloves on. But anyway, and open up the garage door and putting a fan so all that shit's blowing outside and I'm not inhaling nothing. Yeah, so I'm gonna take that panel off and hopefully I can get to that spot and just, I'm gonna take my ma uh, rubber mallet 
and like uh, something round and like tap it in that area. So we'll hopefully just push that little crease out. Fingers crossed, we'll see. So far from perfect, but far from where it was. Here's the, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I need, might need to get a flashlight so you can. With this camera, it looks like it's completely gone. It's definitely not though. Door panel reassembled. I'll clean everything up. I got fingerprints. It's my OCD. I got fingerprints all over everything. I'll clean it up later, but it's back light works uh window that's been bypassed apparently put the car in on so it shouldn't be working but anyway and then finished product this it's pretty much gone for the most part i mean it's still there like i said daylight you'll probably see it a little better but i'm happy with that i would love to be able to get this one but I don't know this stops the wheel. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, it ain't a show car, it's a cruiser. So that's, I tried to get to that one, couldn't get to it. Um, when I have them refinish the paint, uh, maybe those are some things that they can uh, address. I'm not a body expert by any means. I just know how to tinker. Anyway, one down, a few more to go. So I've been trying to polish up my wheels and stuff, like the hubcaps and the metal on the car. And I'll show you here in a second as soon as I get it uncovered. Um, apparently it's as shiny as it can be. Um, some of it's brushed. I don't know if this will show up. So that's just the trim piece going along the side and the hubcaps. You see, they actually look pretty, especially on here, they look really nice look pretty decent even to the naked eye they do but uh this is brushed right here that's just my fingerprints i can get that off but this is brushed and this is polished and of course around here is polished so i was trying to see if i could get that i don't know why i thought i could but like more of a mirror tint i spent so much money on different metal polishes and apparatuses and stuff to <laughs> buff that up and there, nothing's worked because it's it actually looks pretty good so far even the chrome on the car looks pretty decent big big update tomorrow morning um they the guy that's rebuilding the car they're coming not rebuilding the car rebuilding the engine they're coming to get that tomorrow morning um so he said it'll take about three three and a half weeks so the reason i got all the polished stuff because i was like well while the car is gone i can pull the hub cows off pull the chrome off and everything else and while it's gone be polishing that up but there ain't nothing to polish and like i was trying to show you earlier you can kind of see this is like a polished stainless steel this is brushed so it's not supposed to have a mirror tint it's supposed to have a brush look um so there's really i mean it looks pretty good there's really nothing to do to it so uh i'm gonna leave well enough alone focus on the paint scratches or anything i'm gonna see if i can find somebody that can like do a after i polish the paint and refinish it myself see if i can find somebody that can give me a, a color match and i can go around and touch up the little uh scuffs and dents and stuff like right here oh that won't show up yeah like right there these little from rocks over the years hitting it uh that stuff happens hell i even got that on my new stuff you know real update y'all they uh this morning uh came and pick up picked up the continental 
this morning. Very uneventful. I mean, you know, the guys it had some trouble getting it started, but uh, these are experts, so they was able to finally get it started. I ran and got more gas just in case and put gas in it, but. Heaven has been gone for four weeks. He said three, three and a half. I'm not rushing them. I just want them to take their time and do it right. Um, but yeah, the car's still gone. So the Lincoln is anyway, the Mustang's right here. Lincoln's still gone. So I'm just uh, being patient, patiently waiting. Uh, he's sending me updates, he's sending me pictures and everything and he's updating me, but yeah, it's still, still out. But ain't nothing to do but wait. I ain't in no rush.